Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man that's going to change your life. Today's topic is, who is in your corner? Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So I'm sure you've all heard that saying, your network is your net worth, right? And if you haven't, then you're probably living underneath a rock or something like that. And that's okay. I'm about to explain it to you. You're typically, you know, these are not my thoughts. These are Napoleon Hill and all these other people that came years and years and years and years and years and years ago. But these are people who make a lot of sense, right? We're building the foundation of success and the, the belief systems that I operate on, that so many other successful people operate on. And they say you're the average of the five people that you surround yourself with. Now, when you look at that, sometimes we can look at this from each standpoint, from a business standpoint, from a fitness standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, from a parenting standpoint, to a just individualized standpoint. What you realize is there's different people are gonna make up different sums of your net worth of each and every one of those sectors of your life. So, in my life right now, or let me just talk about the journey actually to get to this point. Nobody wanted anything to fucking do with me. Like, Like, I was like the plague. Like these guys, fuck Mark, my family, my no, nobody wanted nothing to do with me. And I don't blame them. So I needed to find people that would actually believe in me. And when I went and I found these people was, was inside of the books, inside of videos on YouTube, inside of paid courses and people that I would actually pay to talk to me so I could learn what they had because I was searching for the desperate desire to be better, better in every area of my life. But I want to really focus in on the drinking side of it. When I look back at the drinking, I could always find somebody that was there to, to drink with me. Number one, I was paying for it all the time. So the same motherfuckers that would come out that would drink on my nickel when I would get shit faced, half swaggled, roll out, driving, or disappear for three or four days are the same guys that we would keep coming back because I was feeding them. I was feeding their addictions. I was feeding their egos. I was feeding their mouths and their desires to talk shit about people because their ability to believe in themselves was garbage. Now, not every person I hung out with, I mean, I can go through a list off. There's still a couple people that I love to this day. You know, I'll quote my friend, Brian, my friend, Ryan, my brother, Kurt, my friend, Reedy, um, my, my brother, Clay, like my, my other, you know, these people that I fucking love. Like, yeah, we drank, but it wasn't on that level. And when I look at these people and I break down their net worth and what's going on with them, these are all people that actually surround themselves with better people as they go. But I was missing that point. I would find somebody who would sit at a bar with me, drink, utilize every dollar I had, watch me just destroy myself because it was also destroying them. We would have pointless, meaningless conversations. I would get completely shit-faced, either want to fight them, attack them, or I would disappear and then give them something to talk about. And what I've realized was this was the cycle. As, as, as much as we want to be able to do this on our own and do these things, it is highly, highly important that you find a group of people that you do not feel alone with. That there's people that you can relate to. That somebody, like I hang around now with people that have what I want. I pay people tens of thousands of dollars a year to go to their course, to go through their courses, to go through their programs, to go to their events, to talk with them on the phone, to actually learn by osmosis, to be there and absorb what they have because there's some sort of energy and aura that comes off them. I'm not going down to the bar. I'm not going down to the, even the nice bars. I was having this conversation with my fiance the other day. We we're talking about just different sectors of people, different financials, uh, financial abilities, right? Go down to this place called Pure 290. It's gonna be these same rich dudes who are sitting there wearing their Sperry shoes with their shorty shorts on by the fire drinking wine. The only thing that changes is this. The conversations are more about money. The drinks are more expensive and the view is a little bit better because these people are still struggling with the same thing. That doesn't mean that they don't, they all don't have it together. These guys probably earned that right and they love it. I'm not discounting them. What I'm saying is you, I want you to look into your network. I want you to look at these people. These people that you have surrounding you right now, are they the right people? Are they willing to be around you when you're sober and you make that choice? I know this. I lost everybody for a short period of time and I don't blame them, like I said. But that few handful that I just spoke about a couple minutes ago, they came back. They came back with skepticism. They came back with anger. They came back with things that they wanted to talk about to me. But they came back because they were my friends. You don't need a lot of friends, but you need ones that you can count on. 
Also, I want you to think about this. The people you surround yourself with sometimes are the same people that talk shit about their families. They talk, if you listen to the words they're saying, they talk shit about their families, they talk shit about their bosses, they talk shit about their employees, they talk shit about their customers, they talk shit about everybody. What makes you think that these people won't talk shit about you? What makes you think that these people aren't trying to make themselves look better by putting down your problems when you're not listening, when you're not around? I find in my world it's like this. The people that talk shit on me now because I don't let that into my life are never people that are doing more than me. It's always people that are doing less. It's always the victims. It's always the people who've never left the town that we live in. It's always the people that live in their fucking parents' basements. It's the people that have cat picture memes on their fucking profiles for Facebook. It's the people who could try to test their foot inside the businesses, but never were able to step out and do something because it got a little bit tough and they got scorched because they fucking can't do it. And the reality of it is that was my network. Those are the people people living off welfare because it was easy to hang around those people because they're not doing much with their lives. But that all comes with a choice. A choice that you have to make. Are you ready to level up your whole entire network? You think going through this problem that you're struggling with it, man, I'm probably just, I'm alone. I'm, you know, I, I'm doing really well. I, I'm guarded because I'm a man that's always paying for people. I'm making more money than some of my friends. My business is doing okay. But internally, I'm fucking suffering. I keep going around fucking Ricky Bobby over here and we're having drinks and I think it's fun but at the end of the day I leave with a hangover and fucking $375 lighter it's just pointless if you're ready to step out of that pit you're ready to put your marriage on fire you're ready to put your self worth on fire your parenting and your love for yourself it's time to join a group of men that are just like you an elite group of men that are taking back territory day in and day out winning and becoming the men that they want to be they all had to make the choice. Cut the shit and move on. I tell them all this, just like I'm going to tell you. If you swim with shit, expect to get shitty. It's just that simple. Today, if you're ready to make that choice, we're here for you. What I'd like you to do, same call to action as yesterday. Fill out the app. Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Reach out to us. Myself, someone from my team will reach out to you, see if you can be a fit to join this elite suit exclusive group of men that are taking back territory day in and day out and see if you can start solving your problems on a one-to-one and group basis. So my question to you when we leave today is this, where across your life are you lowering your standards for yourself? Where across your life is your network and your network not meeting up to each other? Where are your ends not trying to meet? It's time to cut the shit and move on. And if you need help doing that, we're here for you. Click the link. I'm a comeback.com forward slash plot. We'll see you on tomorrow's call. Thank you for showing up. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon.